There we go. So hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Thursday. We're already at Thursday. Oh, my God, it's already Thursday. Uh, my name is Angie. I'm the program manager for the Business Center Guelph Wellington. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the end of our small business month. We have one more workshop tomorrow uh, for small business month and the end of our business of better business program. Uh, so we're happy to have you all here. Uh, today, we're joined by Stephanie from economic development here in the city of Guelph. And I will just pass it right over to her. So Stephanie, it's all for you. If anybody has questions, comments as we go through, I will be monitoring the chats in both places. So hi, hey. Stephanie. Wonderful. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here with us, uh, both uh, those who joined us on Zoom, those who are joining us on live stream, however you're connecting either today or into the future. Um, it's always great to be up on the internet once again in perpetuity in case I mess up my presentation today. Um, but we've got a fair amount of information to go through. It is a pretty standard um, PowerPoint presentation talking about what the economic development and tourism team at the City of Guelph does and some of the exciting supports that we have available to businesses in the region. So we're very um, happy to be here through our partnership in a number of ways with the Business Centre of Guelph Wellington, uh, as well as to be celebrating Small Business uh, Week last week, the month of October as Small Business Month, and just, uh, you know, celebrating all of the amazing, passionate, persistent, resilient, all of those other fantastic uh, nouns and verbs that we could use to talk about our entrepreneurs and our small businesses here in Guelph. Uh, small business is such an important segment of the economy, both in uh, services to populations with residents living here, having uh, the amenities, the, the wonderful uh, commodities and pieces that make life enjoyable, as well as the producing uh, segment of the economy where we're maybe creating something that gets exported out of wealth and sold and brings in revenues to the uh, region as well through those small business owners who are also living and uh, helping to make Guelph such an amazing city. So I'll just uh, start sharing my screen here and go through the formal presentation. And then we've got, I'm sure, a lot of time at the end to just uh, talk more generally about anything that maybe caught your eye. And uh, I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Just gonna start my slideshow here. Angie, how are we doing there? Looks good. Awesome. Okay, yeah, it looks so great. we are the economic development and tourism department within the city of Guelph, and that's made up of three component parts. So invest in Guelph, which is the business uh, side looking at all industries the Guelph Junction Railroad, and then Visit Guelph, which is our tourism side. So we'll talk more about each of those three pieces as we go through. So our agenda for today is just a general overview of what our department does, some of the key activities and responsibilities we have within the municipality of Guelph, and then some of our key programming for businesses, and then an opportunity for questions. So should be, um, relatively straightforward but i'm looking forward to the question part at the end so if you've got any great uh pieces or you want to stump me sounds awesome and we'll get to uh, get to it as quickly as possible so we currently have 12 staff members in those three different areas and our objectives are to support the business community support tourism destination management to serve as a connection to business support partners and other levels of government, as well as academia, and to make it easy to do business in Guelph. So the government doesn't create jobs outside of those that are directly working in the public administration. We don't drive the economy in the way that small business owners and entrepreneurs do. But what we can do is we can influence the environment that you work within 
to make it as easy as possible to work with partners that can create services and supports to build your capacity and to help uh, remove red tape wherever it makes sense to ensure that you have the information and the data and the process understanding to do the things you need to do to be a successful business. So that's our mandate. And the first segment of our team that I'd like to talk about is the Guelph Junction Railroad. So Guelph is a globally connected, business, connected city. And with the Guelph Junction Railway, which is a municipally owned railway, so it, we own as a municipality, the segments of rail track that run through our city. And we connect businesses with goods and services. We contribute to municipal revenues and the overall tax base through the provision of those services. And we provide a unique opportunity for businesses along the rail, rail lines. So there are uh, junction areas where businesses have access to the rail line and they use that as the primary way of distributing goods. And that allows us to ensure that our uh, roadways um, are less utilized for just the movement of products and goods. So there's actually a really great uh, sustainability aspect to utilizing the rails in this way. So we're very proud of the work that the Guelph Junction Railway does and the team there is fantastic. The other component of our team is our tourism services. So tourism services are responsible for building Guelph as a destination for both residents and visitors alike. Some of the key programs that they're responsible for include visitor services, such as wayfinding, information guides, and general uh, promotion of the region, destination development, destination promotion, both uh, within the city and broadly across you know, the province or the nation or internationally to encourage people to come and see what Guelph has to offer. Placemaking initiatives to increase uh, the opportunities for visitors and residents to enjoy their time here in the city and tourism business support. So helping those businesses that are serving residents and visitors to have experiences in Guelph to build their capacity and to offer more services or uh, offerings and experiences. So as Guelph's tourism industry grows, the businesses and placemaking opportunities expand as well. And one of the programs I want to highlight really quickly is the SPARK program, which includes both mentorship and grants specifically for uh, tourism businesses or entrepreneurs who are hoping, hoping to start a tourism business or offering in Guelph. And it allows for you to get some support at the startup of what your initiative is, either an existing idea or a new idea to expand your service offerings to the tourism uh, sector. So we've got uh, some more information on connecting to that program at the end. And then economic development. So this is where I sit as an economic development officer with the city. And economic development broadly is a suite of programs, policies, or activities that seek to improve the economic well-being and quality of life for a community. Each community has its own opportunities, challenges, and priorities, and we are uh, focused in our work based on engagement with our residents through multiple different channels, and that helps us direct where Guelph residences and businesses see the opportunities, challenges, or priorities that they would like to see realized within the city. So some of our key program areas include business retention and expansion, investment attraction, business promotion, and economic monitoring, which is a fancy to say, way to say research and data, uh, which helps us uh, to really promote our understandings of how to best attract new investment to the area or to support our businesses to both stay and expand within the city of Guelph. So we provide a direct communication channel for businesses to City Hall, as well as being a champion for business in local policy and programming. So whenever you connect with City Hall, we're also a resource here. So if you're unsure of who you should be talking to, or you've got an idea and you're just not sure what um, might need to be done, we can be a great resource to help you figure those things out. So one of the big pieces that direct our work are, is the uh, economic development and tourism strategy. So in January of this year, Mayor and Council endorsed our new five-year strategy, which will guide our work from 2022 to 2026. 
Some of the key deliverables of that strategy include uh, strategic direction setting and six, six key goals. Uh, ensuring that our work is built around industry cluster support. So looking at the different segments within Guelph's economy that can really uh, see opportunities realized with a little bit of extra support or a little bit of extra programming or uh, processes that could help them build capacity. As well as the key performance indicators, which are how we measure our success. Um, there's also a refresh that's been scheduled for 2023 because uh, if anybody's a data nerd like me, you know that we're just uh, seeing some of the releases from the 2021 census from Statistics Canada and uh, specifically the November 2022 release is a lot of that economic and demographic data that tells us how businesses are doing specifically. So that because that information was not available prior to this year, we know that our strategy has some areas where we can improve the data, which will allow us to better refine some of the work that we're doing. And then we're doing a robust uh, review in 2025 as we get prepared for the conclusion of the strategy and transitioning into the next body of work. So what's business retention and expansion? So this is uh, kind of the broad title that looks at how do we keep businesses in Guelph that are already here and how do we help them expand and grow, and whether that's uh, a new space or uh, helping them connect with the talent and the workforce that they need or the research and development uh, through academic partners or some capacity building or, or better connectivity to City Hall. So we collect business intelligence through a number of different ways. We uh, work with our partners, such as the Guelph Chamber. And in 2021, we uh, completed a fantastic survey of businesses with them. We also do our own survey work. So this summer, we conducted a employment survey that ran from April through to August with the support of uh, four fantastic co-op students that helped us reach out to over 2,000 businesses that are located within Guelph and talk to them about the business conditions that they see and how we could be a better support. We also do industry roundtables. So we're currently conducting six industry roundtables in partnership with Grow Guelph for agri-innovation, advanced manufacturing, life sciences, clean technologies, information and communications technologies, and small business. So right now, those have been scheduled for October with the clean technology segment, which is already concluded, upcoming ICT in November, and then in the new year, we'll be uh, conducting the remaining four segments of agri innovation, advanced manufacturing, life sciences, and small business. So stay tuned uh, to our communication channels to get invited if that's a segment that you align with. And then each year we also work to get out into the community and do one-on-one -on -one visitations with businesses. So during those visitations it's really important that we uh, can ensure that businesses are aware that we have services that can help them uh, overcome challenges they're facing as well as that they have an opportunity to share information with us and we can offer ways to connect with other business leaders or other levels of government for funding or programming services that are available. So those business visits are really vital. <clears throat> One of the other ways we conduct our work is through partnerships. So we have a branded partnership under the Grow Guelph umbrella that works with over 14 post-secondary and business support organi organizations, as well as other levels of government within the city of Guelph and the region to support that economy, and a vital uh, business climate that supports businesses. So they help do business retention and expansion coordination, workforce development and talent attraction initiatives that can support businesses, as well as more specifically in the last uh, few years, COVID-19 uh, response and recovery support. So some of those organizations include 10 Carden, the Business Center of Guelph Wellington, who's our host today, the Career Education Council, Conestoga College, COIL, or the Circular Opportunities Innovation Lab, the Downtown Guelph Business Association, the Guelph Chamber of Commerce, Innovation Guelph, the Local Immigration Partnership, the Ministry of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, which is a provincial ministry, 
the Ontario Centre of Innovation, the University of Guelph, and the Workforce Planning Board of Waterloo, Wellington, and Dufferin. We also regularly make sure we're connecting with other potential partners each year to ensure that we can provide the best services and supports for our businesses. So sometimes that includes special events with industry associations or other organizations that are available to support businesses as they continue to grow and succeed in the great work that they do. One of the initiatives that we at the economic development team uh, have right now is our Guelph Shops initiative, which came out of the specific impacts of COVID-19 on our business climate and our small businesses and encourages shoppers to support our local Guelph businesses. Coming up soon is the 2022 holiday campaign, as well as we have ongoing business spotlight profiles. So if you're a small business that provides services or uh, consumer goods to residents in Guelph, and you have a brick and mortar front, we're happy to spotlight you. So we also have ongoing promotion through social media to help ensure that residents and visitors are aware of the great offerings that small businesses have here in Guelph, as well as its own Guelph Shops dedicated Instagram page. And then this is how you can get in touch. So you can connect with us directly uh, with under each of our different service areas, uh, economic development at bizinfo at guelph.ca, the Guelph Junction Railway through the manager of the Guelph Junction Railway, who is Les Petrosi at guelph.ca, or our tourism services at visit at guelph.ca, as well as any number of those social media handles. And then I also want to mention that if you go to our website, you can connect and follow us uh, through a newsletter signup, which is our monthly Mind Your Business newsletter that contains information, services, programming, and events that might be relevant to you as a business or entrepreneur here in our region. So that's the formal presentation. Any questions? There we go. Perfect. So I don't have any questions on Facebook currently. I don't know if uh, anybody has questions online right now. Um, do connect for those of you who are watching on Facebook. If you're in the room right now, well, what I'll do is we'll say thank you to the Facebook crowd. Um, and so those of you watching this uh, at a later point. Um, and then, oh, we do have, um, is there any fees associated with the promotion? So I'm no, assuming for the Guelph shops. That's a fantastic question. Um, all of the offerings through uh, the economic development team or the tourism team uh, have no fees associated. Uh, so because we're a municipal uh, service, uh, municipal services are most often offered uh, to residents based on tax requisition. So that's how our funding works. And uh, there are no fees for that promotion or any of our other support and programming for businesses as well. Wonderful. Um, I don't know if there's any other questions. Okay, what I'll do is how about for those of you who are in the room, stick around for a second. I'll close off the Facebook and recording. We can have a conversation. Those of you who are watching online now or at a later time, please connect with us, success at wealthbusiness.com or connect with Stephanie at the Economic Development. Feel free to send me an email and I can connect you through um, and then we can get that started for you. So thank you for the Facebook world. Thank you for everybody who's watching this recording later. And for those of you in the room, please stick around for a few seconds.